Okay guys, tapos na ako kumain and now I'm going to Gardens by the way. So I'm just walking, going to the bus station and then from there, it's a bus station uh, nearby here. Uh, Magbabas na ako papuntang Gardens by the way. So I'll see you there guys. So right now, I'm still walking. I'm uh, here ngayon sa Chinatown. Yeah. Just a reminder, if you really want to go here in Singapore, you have to be prepared. I mean physically prepared because you will do a lot of walking to really goodness. explore the city and enjoy it. So that's how you do it, alright? We're in at the program later. So what you see behind me guys is the Buddha Tooth Relic Temple here in Singapore. So make sure if you're here in Singapore, just visit the temple. You can take a pictures or just, you know, relax and just enjoy the view. Hello guys, so flex ko lang yung MRT dito sa Singapore. So yung, di ba syempre sa Philippines, sa Manila yung MRT. Walang ganito, yung parang yan, may glass door. So here, my glass door na. So it's very safe. That was legit. Tapos, pag nandiyan na yung train, ayan na, mag-arrive na. So mag-open siya. So ayan na, parating na yung train. I'll show you guys. There. So let's go, guys. By the way, it is still recommended to wear your mask when riding the train or riding the bus here in Singapore. That was so legitness. don't forget to bring yours when traveling around Singapore, especially when riding the train or the bus. So here how it looks like inside the MRT. Hey guys, so uh, I'm here sa the loob ng train. So papunta na ako na Gardens by the Bay. Dapat magbabas ako pero sabi na successful daw yung Gardens by the Bay kapag yung train. So, let's go! So I intentionally took this video guys for you to show how amazing the subway here in Singapore. So hopefully ganito rin yung mangyari sa Philippines because uh, right now they are building our subway so hopefully it will be finished as soon as possible so you know we can enjoy it as well that was legit because here in Singapore the subway transportation is really seamless and you can just really enjoy going around the city that was legit and guys what's good about their train station is Almost all of the train stations here in Singapore are air-conditioned. Wow. So I really hope that in the near future, Philippines will also adopt this kind of train station where in all of the train stations, or almost, will be fully air-conditioned. So while waiting, it will be convenient for the Filipino citizen, you know. That was legitness! Okay guys, I just want to make myself clear. I am not comparing the Philippines from Singapore. As of now, it's way far incomparable. I'm just saying my thoughts and my hopes that someday Philippines will be inspired from Singapore when it comes to their 
transportation system. That was legitness. I am a Filipino guys and I'm very proud of it. I'm just saying that we also deserve the convenience and the best that the world is offering right now. That was legitness. So I just got out from the train station and voila, a few steps in front of me is the gardens by the bay already. So you know guys, that's how convenient the transportation here in Singapore, especially their subway. So you can just really enjoy it. Hey guys, so finally I just arrived here at Gardens by the Bay. So let's get it in. See you guys here. Just a brief information about Gardens by the Bay. It is actually a nature park spanning 101 hectares in the central region of Singapore. The park consists of three waterfront gardens by the South Garden in the Marina South. Bay East Garden in the Marina East and Bay Central Garden in the downtown core in Kalam. The largest of the gardens is by the South Garden at 54 hectares designed by Grand Associates and its flower dome is the largest glass greenhouse in the world. By the way, the spots here at Gardens by the Bay that you can visit are Marina Barrage, Sate by the Bay, Kingfisher Wetlands, Children's Garden, Cloud Forest, The Flower Dome, and lastly, Super Tree Grove, which I am going right now. Wow! So, this is the Super Tree, guys. Wow! A brief highlights about the Super Tree Grove here at Gardens by the Bay. They actually have solar panels that fuel the nightly light shows as well as air exhaust receptacles for cooling the air. Also, Super Tree Grove has over 158,000 plants including 700 plus varieties of orchids, ferns, and tropical flowering climbers that grow on the 18 super trees. Hey guys! So currently I'm inside the gardens by the bay and this is the super trees. So this side guys is for free. You can uh, get in here for free. But if you want to go to the uh, highway, Super Tree Skyway, um, you should get a ticket and I, I think that's for 10 to 14 dollars so it depends so but this uh, platform is already free and then you can go around here so it's already fine that was legitness let's go hey guys so I'm just enjoying my time here inside uh, gardens by the bay so Ang cool na mga super tree. That was legitness. You can uh, actually uh, go on the observation part of the tree, but you should buy a ticket. I don't know how much is it, I forgot. You can check it on Klook. And also you can just walk there sa Skyway. So you can also get a ticket, a combo ticket um, on Klook up, but if you don't want to, uh, you can actually go to the ticket booth here directly at uh, Gardens by the Bay. So let's go guys, just, just go around here. So what you are seeing right now guys is the entrance going to the Super 3 Observatory deck. There where you can see the 360 degree view of the whole gardens by the bay. 
So guys, if you want to go to the observatory deck, so that's it. That's the observatory deck. Okay, you should get a ticket from Pluk or you can just go directly uh, to the ticket booth here at Gardens by the Bay. So during my visit here at Gardens by the Bay, the weather is really nice. It's not really hot and it's not raining. It's just perfect to do some runs. So I took the opportunity to do it and just breathe fresh air. So after running and while resting, I just noticed these two little cute birds that are actually very friendly. And good thing, I have a bread in my bag so I could actually feed them. So after feeding the birds, I actually noticed that there is also a Komodo dragon which we called in the Philippines as Bayawak. He's actually roaming around gardens by the bay. So I let him be and didn't bother him so much. Just took a video and then I left. I am a nature lover guys so I really enjoyed my experience here at gardens by the bay. So that's pretty much it about my experience here at Gardens by the Bay. I am also planning to visit Gardens by the Bay during night time so I could also witness the nightly light show. And if you end up liking this vlog, make sure you also watch the part 1 and 2 of my Singapore vlog. Kindly hit the like button and leave a comment as well. I would appreciate it more if you will subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you will be notified every time I have new upload. Thank you so much guys for watching my vlog and I hope you also watch my other vlogs here on my channel and I hope you guys are having a great time. So see you next time guys.